Hello, my Aries friends. Elsie here to do your reading for the next three months of 2021. So if you are here and you are brand new, thank you for coming here. Thank you for clicking here. I hope that you'll want to stay once you see the content and the way that everybody here supports each other. This reading is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It is for the sign of Aries. If you don't know what it means to have a general reading, please look below. There are some details in the description. Now, um, if you are interested in a personal read with me, please head on over to Wizio, W I S I O dot com. <clears throat> you will get 10% off your readings there until February. There is a sale on. Otherwise, you can just contact me through my website at tenacupstarot.ca. All right, here we go. Let's do this reading here. We are going to ask for three three car cards. And first of all, we're going to ask for help. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Shemuel, if I could have your help, please, for guidance and understanding <clears throat> for our Aries for the end of the year and for the beginning of next year, January, February, and March. Um, uh, if I could have, please, my help from my angels and guides, please. I do need your help with signs and symbols so I can hear and see things as I read. Thank you, Spirit, for the beautiful gift you've given me to share with my Aries friends. All right, so we do need three cards, please. Three cards, one for January, February, and March. Then we will pick three more cards going across. We will clarify all four weeks of each month. All right, if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using here, please look below. There is a link for Amazon.ca. My Amazon store does carry all the cards that I own, all the cards that I wish to own in the future. This is the Energy Oracle. If you purchase from that link, I do get a 10% kickback, just saying. All right, here we go, Aries. We need three cards, please. January, February, March. First one in January is Storm Warning. Storm Warning, what is that? It's kind of like the... Um, the uh, tower card it's about things that aren't going correctly things are about to get a little hairy in january for you it may be because you left something on the back burner for too long i'm just saying aries um, avoidance is not the key so then we do have um magician and the mirror now the magician in the mirror do you know who that is that is you you are the magician in the mirror you have the ability to manifest anything you want in this life it really is up to you and uh, what you want just remember that thoughts become things and everything that you throw out to the universe comes back to you and there we have all tied up okay so some decisions not being made here um, putting more things on the back burner are you Aries <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look here. Um, we're going to go across now. We're going to find more information uh, for the months ahead here. I am using the Moon Child Tarot. And I've already cleaned and blessed these cards. I am just going to cut these ones. And then we're going to get three cards for each, each month here. Please tell us what is in the cards for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, the sign of Aries, please, for the month of January. Four weeks. First week is a storm warning. What else do we have? Then we go right on through to the Ten of Pentacles. Keep going here. Got one sticking out here. I'll take that. And we have the High Priestess. For the third week of January. And we have the Ace of Swords. So conversation. Something coming up in conversation. Clarity. Needing to get an answer of some kind. That might be why the High Priestess is present here. Coming to you know, help you make those decisions. Uh, realize those things you need clarity on. Let's go to February. Magician in the mirror. I feel like you realize your power in this month. February, I feel Aries is a powerful month for you. You realize your spiritual power and um, you realize that you've always had, just like I'm reminded, huh, I'm just seeing, you know, I'm seeing my, um, some of the signs and symbols I get are really cool. And what I got right now was um, the Wizard of Oz. You know, when she clicks her heels together three times, there's no place like home. I feel like you've always been home, Aries. You've always been home. You've always known how to find the way home. And the home is you. You are 
um, someone who is has the ability to be able to um, make anything happen in your life. You know, when you are someone who works hard, um, who's very uh, specific about the things that they want, people follow you no matter where you go because you are the leader and um, they help you to make things um, great in your life. So pay attention to other people who want to help you. Four of Pentacles. You start off um, by keeping things a little bit close to the chest. And then we have the Seven of Cups, which gives you lots of opportunity. Maybe a little bit overwhelming as well in February. Things might start coming at you very quickly. I see... Um, yeah, things coming at you super quick. You having to make really quick decisions. Uh, February, I think, is going to be the fastest moving month in the first uh, in the first few months of the year. Got one here. We have the Hereford. Good. And then in March, all tied up, not being able to move, not knowing what to do next, feeling like you can't make a decision, feeling like you're bound. Um, then we have oh, bound to the devil. All right, this could be addiction, this could be um, codependency, this could be a relationship you don't want to be in. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups walking away. And what else do we have here? Last card of March, please. Last card of March 2021. And we're going to take the top one, which is the Moon card. Um, we did pull out the Fool, but it didn't quite get out to your reading. So uh, what is under the deck? Under the deck is Divine Wisdom. It's the knowing. It's this thing here. It's the knowing. You knowing what you need to do. Innately, I think, Aries, you know what to do. Depending on what's in your Moon and Rising sign, you could be very intuitive, but everybody has the ability to listen to their gut. When you don't listen to your gut, what happens? You get this here storm warning. All right, I'm going to use the um, un Wild Unknown Tarot for clarification. And let's clarify and see what is up in January of 2021. I'm just going to cut these here. All right, tell us about this storm warning spirit for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell us about what's going on in this storm warning, please. What's up with the storm warning? What sort of hardships are coming? What is the storm warning about, please? Clarify. Well, this one won't go back in, so I'll take it. Moon. It's about being f fearful of something. It's about being fearful and not really knowing not really having the knowing about what's going to happen next. And you don't like that, Aries, because you're someone who fancies yourself as um, someone who can see into, um, you know, who has a really good ability to be able to uh, see things coming, right? Um, you can sort of figure out what's going on from point A to point B and everything in between. You are highly intuitive, and I think that you're feeling nervous about something that's happening in the first week of January. Mother of Cups, she is the um, Queen of Cups, and I feel like you're feeling romantic. I feel like you're feeling deep, that you're feeling depth. I feel like that the moon is actually a bit of sadness for you. Um, that the storm warning is actually within, I believe. It's within you, and I think this is you in your turmoil. Um, I think that 2021, Aries, is going to be the year that you make big moves and big changes. I feel that with the moon energy. I feel like you're tired of being afraid. I feel like you're tired of not getting what you want. You're tired of of um, speaking with someone the Aries I'm connecting with is in a relationship. Your relationship is very surface. It's not very deep. The person that you're with is more concerned with things than life itself. And I think that you're kind of done with that. You're kind of done with people, surface people. You want people with depth. And um, I think that's where the Ten of Pentacles comes in. I have a feeling that you go out looking for your Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ten of Pentacles, please. Clarify. 
the Daughter of Cups. So the Daughter of Cups is the page. I feel like you uh, need to get a monkey off your back. That's what I'm seeing. I'm quite literally seeing someone with a backpack, dark hair, really tall, and there's a monkey on the backpack. I feel like there, this monkey is like poking you in the head and telling you it's time to do something, and you just want to get that monkey off your back. It's making you crazy. And I feel like... um. And the Daughter of Cups, the Page of Cups, is here to tell you that it's time to start something new. It's time to learn something new about yourself. And that is going to throw you into the Ten of Cups energy. Learning something new about you, uh, about how you are in the world. Perhaps it's spirituality because the Cups cards, the series of the Cups cards, is about being intuitive and feeling vibration. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups, please. Tell me, is that Ten of Cups? Sorry, it's Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles, please. In January, Ten of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Yeah, I feel like back here is where you begin to know that you can get rid of the turmoil or the storm warning within your mind, within your chest. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety spinning in your chest. I feel like you finally figure out in the second week of January that you have all the tools to do all the things that you want. You have the swords for conversation. You have the pentacles to keep yourself grounded and in enough money. You have the wands to take passionate action and you have the cups to um you know uh love to be emotional to to have the depth of character that you want and i feel like in the second week of january you make the decision of having depth of character because it is your abundance and that is what you're calling in you're calling in the ten of pentacles which is your abundance and then we have the daughter of wands which is the page of wands you going on a new um, path, uh, a new passionate path, maybe getting some good news, and then moving along the way on a, a passion, uh, on a path to a, a passion, either passionate about a person or a thing. Let's talk about the High Priestess here in week three in January. Please tell me about the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess, please, in this reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. High Priestess, please. Thank you. High Priestess is clarified by the star. So I feel like you're getting um, some advice from someone, someone who is helping heal you, um, someone who is giving you advice on how to heal yourself. This could be a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a medical doctor, some sort of healer, could be the spiritual realm, could be a light worker. I feel like you're talking to someone who is helping you digest everything that went on in 2020 and digest and give hope to the things that are going to happen in 2021. I feel like in the third week of January is when you begin to heal. You begin to realize that you do have the power to heal yourself. And that brings you to the Two of Swords. You're making a decision. What is the decision I think you're making? I think you've decided that you need some clarity. You've uh, got the Ace of Swords here, and I feel like you've decided that you need clarity in your life. You need to um, bring that clarity forward, and you... Um, it's time. I feel like you've been waiting for a while to get some clarity on something that you feel as though it's almost taboo, that you you shouldn't be going to get clarity about this thing. But um, Ace of Swords, tell me more about the clarity, the Ace of Swords. So I think you, uh, in the third week, you start feeling like you can make a decision about getting clarity and uh, speaking to someone. Who did you need to speak to? And Ace of Swords, what is the clarity, please? Clarity for Aries. I keep dropping big bunches. <laughs> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please tell me about the Ace of Swords. Clarify. Ace of Swords for Aries, please. For 2021, fourth week of January. Clarify. Ace of Swords, please. Thank you. Ace of Swords. Great. We have the Ten of Wands. So I think you need to have a conversation with someone at the end of January. You can't deal with it anymore. I believe that you have, um, you are feeling like you need to drop some burdens. You need, you've been carrying around these burdens for so long. Um, 
maybe about actions you took against somebody. It could be words, it could be actions themselves, physical actions, but either way, I feel like you're dropping the burdens and you need to talk to someone. It could be someone who is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. It could be someone who is an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I feel like... Um, there are cups here as well, so it could be someone who is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But I feel like either way, you need to drop these burdens. You've been carrying them for too long, Aries. Time to drop the burdens and have a conversation. And I'm going to use these ones here because they were on top, and I will put these back on the deck. So we have the Mother of Swords. So yes, you're speaking up. The Queen of Swords speaks up, tells her truth all the time. I think you're going for broke. You're going to be speaking with someone that could possibly be an air sign. But if not, you are speaking up and you're going for broke. You don't care if this person really um, wants to talk to you. You don't care if this person understands the things that you're saying. You have things that you need to let them know and you are going to let them know in no uncertain terms what it is that you require. And what you require is a new start. There's the fool, right? and the mother of pentacles queen of pentacles you also require to have someone who is um someone who is maybe grounded someone could who could be another aries someone who could be a uh, virgo capricorn or taurus i feel like um you are You are um, getting yourself grounded and you are wanting to be grounded enough to speak to this person that you consider to be someone who is highly sought after, someone who is... Um, someone who is uh, charitable, you admire that about them, that they are charitable, that they're willing to give away their last penny to someone it might help. Um, that is the, th the thing that's the most attractive to you is that they're charitable, but that they're also very stable, financially stable, living on their own, doing their own thing, killing it. And I feel like you um, need to tell this person, oops, sorry guys, drop a box. Um, I feel like you need to tell this person how you're feeling. Not necessarily in terms of romance, but I feel as though you need to tell this person, hey, you're killing it, man. You're doing so great, and I haven't seen you in such a long time. We need to talk about how great it's going for you. But I think what you're trying to do is get in their good graces, because I think there's a different type of conversation coming. So let's look at February here. February, magician in the mirror. That is you, Aries. You are the magician. You are the person who can call in anything you want in your life. And when you look in that mirror, who do you see? You see someone successful, handsome, beautiful, someone who is standing in their, on their own two feet, even if, after everything you've gone through, you still stand as the magician in the mirror. Tell me about what's happening in the first week of February, please. First week of February. Clarify the first week of February, please. Thank you. In the first week of February, we have justice. So something brings you back into balance, or this is your realization that you actually do have the ability to call in whatever you want, um, that you are the person who is driving the destiny boat. You really are, that you are the person who's making the decisions in your life, and um, the opportunities are coming towards you. Hi, Priestess. Opportunities are coming towards you because you've made those opportunities come towards you. Um, you've called them in. And I think that you are highly intuitive as well. I feel like you've called them in like the High Priestess would. I feel like a lot of people actually lean on your shoulders. I feel like you have big shoulders. I don't know why the person I'm thinking of as an Aries is someone who's male. But um, it could be someone who is female, who um, favors their... Um, uh, favors their masculine side, their divine masculine energy, because we have both, right? doesn't matter if you're female or male. We both, uh, all of us, <laughs> females and males, we all have female and male divine energy in, um, in our auras, in our souls. And sometimes you will find someone who is female that tends to lean more to the side of masculine or more to the side of feminine. Same with males, more to the side of feminine, more to the side of masculine. So, um, the Four of Pentacles is here, and we're going to clarify with the Five of Wands. Okay, so Four of Pentacles, keeping things to the chest. So, I think you are manifesting things, Aries, but what I think you're doing is you're manifesting things, but you are keeping it close to the chest because you're kind of undecided about what's coming next. You don't really know what it is that you need to do next. Sorry, 
cards are flipping around here. Um, but you are unde I think you know what you need to do, but you are undecided about it still. Aries, this has been going on for months in your readings about, you know, what to do next, what to do next. Is it time to make the next move? There is the devil and there is and therein lies the issue. You have problems with um, overcoming. I feel like overcoming things, um, pulling yourself away from something that you don't want to have any part of anymore. I feel like you feel stuck. You feel there's some fear. You want to move forward to the Seven of Cups. You know that on the other side of the devil, there is... Um, there is lots of emotional happiness, but in order for you to get over this hump, you are going to have to believe that you are the magician. So um, this whole, almost the half, this last half year, we've been talking about you coming forward to someone, being, you know, making your conscience clean, talking to them, bringing them back into the fold. And here's the fear. Here's everything you want. And it's on the other side of fear. That's the fear wall, that devil card. And I feel like you have a lot of fear in your heart, but I feel like you just really want to get to move towards someone that you need to have clarity from. So on the other side of the devil is the seven of cups. It's emotional happiness, but also emotionally being overwhelmed. So seven of cups, clarify the seven of cups for Aries, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Thank you. And this is for the third week of February. There we go. We have the Eight of Cups. So first of all, before you can have this Seven of Cups, you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. So you have to get rid of the Eight in order to find the Two. So if you have stuff in your life that you need to get rid of, people, places, things, attitudes, addictions, anything that you need to walk away from that does not serve you to be the person you want to be, you need to start walking at least in the third week of February, or at least start thinking up to it by then. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you can't make the decision because it's going to hurt others. But what What if? What if you do? What if you make the decision? What if you do walk away? What if you walk right into the Hierophant? What if you do the right thing? Um, what if you walk into, you know, some amazing love that turns into marriage? What if you do? So I need you to get out of the overthinking in the third week of February if you do want to, you know, um, deal with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus, of course. Let's clarify the Hierophant. What's going on here, please? Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. Some, some moon rising. Venus and Jupiter. Top card is the Fool. So I feel like you want to have a new start. Um, maybe, you know, I don't see anything here that tells me that this is about love, but I feel like you're really close to someone that you want to have a new start with. Problems in the past. But I think that this friendship is about to turn to love. And the only reason I think that is because the Hierophant isn't, isn't here for no good reason. <laughs> I don't think you're having a new start in your job, which could be corporation. I really do feel like this is sort of a relationship, either a friendship that is about to turn to love or um, uh, a friendship that you need to be honest about, that you need to be honest about and sorry about. Something happened in the past. You two got disconnected and you just want to start over. You want to have a do-over. What else do we have for the Hierophant? Please clarify the Hierophant. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Aries. Clarify the Hierophant, please. Tell me about the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant. Thank you. All right, so we have Eight of Pentacles. You're going to work really hard on this new beginning. You're going to do whatever you can to, to make them say yes, that you can start this friendship, this love ship, this marriage, this whatever it is over again. We have the Hermit. You two have been ghosting each other for a dog's age for quite some time. Feels like years, could be months, but feels like it could be years. And... Um, you two have just stopped talking to each other. So nobody's blocked anybody on social media or anything like that. Nothing sinister. It's just that you two stop talking. And it might be because you have feelings that you have not divulged yet. Ten of Swords tells me that you want something to come to a painful end. Um, that you want to put down these Ten of Swords. That it's been painful thinking and overthinking what's going on in this whole situation. And you need to finally bring it to an end. Because it is 2021, you need to get a lot of crap off your chest, I think. All right, let's put these aside and let's go to 
Here we go. Okay, so that deck I was using was called the uh, Wisdom Seekers Tarot. This one here is the Light Seekers Tarot. And we are going to clarify for March. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Aries, please. All tied up. So you start the month of March feeling like you like you don't really have a path that you can take. Feeling like no matter where you go, your hands are tied. You don't you can't do anything. And you know, this this year is coming up. I feel like, you know, it March signifies the um the month of Aries and March signifies spring is coming. I think that you're about to have the best year of your life, Aries. I don't know why I'm feeling so much excitement for you but I really feel like things are going to move for you only because you're going to start believing in yourself as the man in, or as the magician in the mirror. I think you're going to finally start believing yourself and you're going to move forward. And it's going to hurt like hell, but you are going to move forward. Tell me about being all tied up. What is tying up Aries energy? Tell me what is tying up the Aries energy here, please. Clarify all tied up. What is tying up the Aries energy? This one won't go back in. What's tying up your energy is waiting. Yeah, I would say that that is correct. <laughs> waiting. Aries, you've been waiting forever to contact this person, um, to take care of this situation, to to go see them, visit them, get in a car, get in some way, go from the from the chaos to the calm with them. I feel like you've been waiting to do that for so long and you still feel like you can't do it. However, what comes along is the star. That is the card of Aquarius and telling you that in order to get yourself unbound so you're not feeling all tied up is that you just need to heal. You need to heal and then you need to move forward to that person to talk to them. Um, and then we have the magician. Why can you do that? Because you have all the tools that you've always needed. You know, um, you've always had the power to go home. And that's what I'm getting from the Wizard of Oz. You've always had the power to go home, Aries. You know how to do this. You're strong. You're the person who is the leader. You can always help others to go home. It's time for you to come home to yourself and to take control of your life as the Emperor would. Take control and des decide to do the things that you need to do uh, in order to be happy. Okay, so um, the devil. Clarify the devil, please. What is this about? The devil. Clarify the devil energy for the second week of March, please. Second week of March. The devil. The devil, please. Clarify the devil. I feel like the person I'm reading for is a cusp. You're on the cusp of the... Um, uh, of the Pisces um, Aries, I believe. I think you're on the cusp here. And so I think that's why you're a lot more intuitive than you realize, because you do have water in your chart for sure. Um, the Two of Swords tells me that you're scared to see what's coming, um, that you want to make decisions, you want to make big moves in your life, but that's the thing that's stopping you. It's the fear. And I feel like you just want to be able to take this Two of Swords, Two of the Swords, and just cut away all the bullshit and just move forward. And it's terrifying you to do so. That's the, the fear that the casting of the devil is. It also casts doubt, right? The devil will also cast doubt on you. But the thing is, is that the devil's not even a match for the emperor. The emperor owns the empire. He runs the empire, smart, incredibly intelligent, makes decisions for lots of people, makes sure everybody has what they need. He's a father. He's someone who's, who is, who has the, um, the energy and the, uh, um, and the knowledge of all the kings. You know, the kings report to the emperor. And here you are showing up in your own reading here. Aries, um, you are about to take control of this um, devil energy and about not wanting to see things coming forward. It's time for you to take control of that shit. It is time for you to keep rolling forward because you have been waiting too long. But I have a feeling that as it's getting closer to your birthday... You know, as, as we have Aries people that are in March um, and in April, and I feel like in March is when you start getting that 
okay, another year is coming, another year has gone by. I feel like you have more years behind you than in front of you, and it's time for you to start making things matter, to start living life as though it matters instead of it living you. Um, tell me more about this devil card, please. Devil card is clarified by the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's time for you to find yourself uh, a relationship or a marriage, because this is the Minor Arcana Marriage card, um, something that means something. So the 1111 is very spiritual. It's the beginning of something that's very stable. It's the beginning of your spirituality and the notification to you by your angels and guides that it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to use that um, that um, intuitiveness that has been given to, given to you by the by the uh, by the gods, by the universe, by Allah, by Jesus Christ and God Himself, it is is time for you to use that gift. And um, what do we have here for the Eight of Cups? What are you walking away from? What do you have to walk away from in order to be able to have this Queen of Cups energy? You have to walk away from this overthinking at night. You need to start taking care of yourself. Um, no more uh, angst and depression and anxiety at night. Um, that's how you're going to be able to walk away. Stop feeling the guilt. This life is short and you need to be able to live this life and live it with abundance. The Ten of Pentacles. It could be with someone I said, well, you know what? Really, to be honest, you guys, every sign is, is apparent here. So, you know, take it as it resonates. Pick it at how it will go. And um, I think that what you're doing here in the third week, closer to your birthday, maybe closer to the end of March, Going into April, I feel like you've decided that your abundance is more important than being full of anxiety and depression. And I think that uh, you walk away from the things that are causing you this depression and anxiety. Tell me about the moon card, please. Tell me about the moon card for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The moon card, please. Moon card, clarify. Thank you. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So you're worried that if you leave wherever it is that you're in the situation right now, if you leave there, that you're not going to be, you know, your Midas touch, you're going to lose it. Um, you're going to lose your business. You're going to lose uh, being financially stable that, um, you know, you aren't going to be very grounded. It's not the truth. What it is, is it's the fear. Things are not as they seem. So that tells me that you are seeing things that are not there. And then we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. You do finally make a choice. You start not feeling overwhelmed and you do finally make a choice and yeah someone is coming from the past so you're calling in that person as you manifest you're calling in that person from the past to have your um to have your uh, reconciliation, which I believe is happening here and here, that there is going to be reconciliation and you're thinking about it. And as you think about it, you don't realize it, but you're manifesting that person to come in. So I feel like your march ends out with you contacting finally that person who you have been wanting to talk to for a long, long time. But I think it's your birthday that comes around the corner that makes you do it because you don't want to let another year go by before you contact that person. Aries, that's what I have for you for the first three months of the year. I hope so that resonates with you you can let me know at the end of each month if you know anything that's going on in these you might want to come back and re-watch these to see what's going on here and um and you can let me know as you as you see things unfold i'm going to go for now if you want me you can find me over on wizio or you can email me lc at ten of you can also go to my website tenacupstarot.ca. I am out, you guys. Happy Christmas. Um, if you had Hanukkah, I hope it was wonderful. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Love you guys. See you in the new year. Bye.